Okay, you got the Verizon robot working again, and you found a shuttle to where? The moon. Like, you mean... Earth's moon. Amazing. The most amazing part was just about to happen. We're on the moon. Yeah. Now what? Space if I know. I think it would be a good idea to stay here and monitor number four's progress, just in case he regains consciousness. Consciousness? Aurora, he's a robot. Dex, does it not seem to you that he emotionally exhibits all facets of a living being? What do you mean? He found you, which required intelligence. He protected you, which required bravery and self-sacrifice. And he clearly cares for his master, whoever he may be. Hmm. You may have a point. Sí, lo sé. Now go take a look around while I watch him. Maybe there's a puzzle here that will reassure us we're on the right path. Welcome the Earth is just a radioactive rock at this point. People from Earth used to find this charming, I guess. There are only nine planets in this projection of our system. This place must have been built before they discovered Vries. Hmm. I think the handle is just the right size. Spacey nachos, it worked. Here goes nothing. What in space is this? Who could have... Did Crazy Carl do this? He couldn't have. This is creepy. Super creepy. Who would make something like this? Despite the creepy rumble, it looks like I did something right. Okay, this is definitely not Crazy Carl, but who would know? It, it can't be the robot. It can't be number four. Could it? Well, the green light is on, so something worked. Well, it's not number four. He wasn't even activated when this happened. What in the Milky Way is going on? I think that was a good sound.
Oh, computadora, estúpida. I can't get the coordinates to come back. Pero ven acá, Dexter. Where did you go? We know where he is. ¿Qué? How do you know where Dexter is? We've been looking for a Vrezian robot. We have a device that reads its unique radiation signature, and we're sure that Dexter is mixed up in it somehow. Pero no comprendo. How do you know Dexter has a Vrezian robot? It wasn't hard to miss. He and his friend dragged a Vrezian robot right behind us. They didn't think we could see. <laughs> But I fear we need to hurry. There's a second Vrezian radiation signature approaching their position from space. Are you two hermanas? Sisters? Yeah, I'm Danny. And I'm Sandy. Sisters, justo como dijo Venturia, ha llegado el momento. What moment? Let's go to my bodega. I believe I have a way to get to Dexter muy rápido. That was a fun ride. Hmm, where am I now? No, it can't be. A dead end. There's absolutely nothing here. What am I supposed to do now? I, I, I need Aurora. Going up. Aurora, I think I found something, but I need your help. What? Where did you come from? Well, I found this log ride with all these really weird dioramas around us, and I had to use these computer cards with icons of items I picked up and... Hold on, D did you say log ride? Yeah, it took me to an underground cavern, but I think I need your help. There's an elevator over here behind me. What are you talking about? That elevator wasn't working when I checked it. Well, it is now. Come on, let's go. All right, let's not forget number four. I'll pick him up and put him in my inventory. Your what? Robot number four may have deactivated his systems, but our sensors seem to be detecting his weak radiation signature. Yes, I am picking up the same readings. Prepare for conflict. I was built for conflict. There's nothing here. Exactly. That's why I came and got you. I had to use all these weird punch cards and solve all these puzzles that were specific just to me. It does diorama. Yeah. And now, nothing. I mean, what are we even doing here? There must be something we're missing. What could we possibly be missing? You are missing me. Number four, you're back. Yes, and I am now fully functional. What do we do now, number four? Excuse me, Miss Aurora, and I will show you. Watch your step. You have a submarine? Well, it belongs to my master. Who is your master? I don't. I'm driving. Aurora, don't you think? You are under violation of Vrezian law. Uh, we are? That robot was stolen by Venturia Vries and must be returned at once. Stolen? I was saved. Wait a second. Let me get something straight. Yeah, uh, who are you exactly? I am the vanguard of the commander of Vries. Who is this, the commander? He is the one who commands. Uh, what does he command? He commands everything on Vries. So he commands man? Yes, he commands man. And what if a man doesn't obey his command? Man must obey his command. Has there ever been a man who has not obeyed the command of this man? Never has there been a man who has not obeyed the command of this man. So, the real question is, is how much command can a commander man command if a commander man couldn't command man? You're gonna get us killed. I'm just playing around. Uh, okay, so... Uh, 
how do you know my mother? Um, sir? Your mother is Venturia Freeze. Venturia is the only Freezian to have left our planet. Therefore, you are not Freezian. Haha, <laughs> hate to break it to you, but I'm half Freezian and half human. Venturia is my mom. Impossible. Uh, okay, so... This robot is from Breeze. I thought you were from Breeze number four. That's true. I am. Why do you look so old? It would appear they have updated their robots in my absence. I cannot sense its mechanical interior. Consequently, I have no power to stop it remotely. Uh, okay, so... I'm sure we can figure something out. What are you doing? Aurora, behold. You're about to witness my amazing negotiation skills in action. Oh, brother. So, you won robot number four, is that right? I am not leaving without that robot. It holds valuable information. Would you take a dashboard hula doll instead? It would go perfect with your spaceship, if you came here in one. No. How about this delightful submarine? They're all the rage this season. No. Final offer. We're selling these fine leather jackets. Give me the robot. Yikes, hard sell. Wow, great job, Dex. It's a wonder you sold anything at all. Enough chit chat. We got a submarine to catch. Stop. Ah. Hand over the robot or I'll shoot. Oh, space. Where's Uncle Jetto when you need him? Donde esta? Donde esta? What are you looking for? Something Dexter's mother gave me a long time ago. Aquí esta! So, what is it? Oh, that's a good question. I often wonder why she gave this to me. But Venturia said, when Dexter is in trouble and you meet the sisters, activate this device. Sounds like a prophecy. Who is this Venturia anyway? A Vrizian scientist, the best. Oh, great. A lady from the Planet X gave you a mystery device. Well, I think it's incredible, but how is that device going to help Dexter from here? There's only one way to find out. Here goes nothing. Neat sci-fi sound. Now what? Whoa. Oh, it's a teleporter. Venturia, siempre con las sorpresas. Where are we? The moon, I'm sure of it. Bobos or Deimos? No, not one of the moons of Mars. The moon of Earth. Ah, uh, yes. The moon. Wait a second. Did you hear that? Sounded like Dexter. And the 52nd reason you shouldn't shoot us is because of tacos. Right, Aurora? Absolutely. Tacos and burritos. Don't forget about burritos. Nice one. 52nd and 53rd. Now, what could be the 54th reason not to shoot us be? Enough. Uncle Jetto? Aha, Uncle Jetto. Number 54. Good one, Aurora. No, Uncle Jetto is here. Huh? Bear, this is for you, mi amigo. <laughs> Uncle Jetto, I'm I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I should have helped you. Instead, things got even more dangerous. Well, thanks. We were in a pretty tough spot. Espera, how did you know we were here? We teleported here. Yep. S Sandy and Danny? What? H how do you know Uncle Jetto? How did you teleport here? What's going on? I am equally confused. As am I. My master did not speak to me at this precise moment. Who is this master you keep talking about? I can shed some light on that situation. But I believe our little submarine ride will explain it better than I can. Why not? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Agreed. Miss Aurora and I will take the helm. Dexter, are you ready? Ready for what? Change, mijo. Everything you know is about to change. Can we come? Of course! We wouldn't be here without the sisters! Well, this should be interesting.
Who knew there would be an entire ocean underneath the moon's surface? I know. It's absolutely fascinating. I'm blown away. Mr. Jetto knew. You knew? Orale! Your father and I went on many adventures. The local community here on the moon kept it a secret. We promised them we'd never say a word. I know, but this? There seems to be a lot of things you're not telling me. Can we discuss this later? I really need to concentrate. Fine. Bien. Good thing Danny and I aren't here, or else this little family reunion would be awkward. We are heading to the heart of the moon's interior, so let's navigate as far down as possible. We're headed in the right direction. Let's keep making our way further down. Miss Aurora, would you like me to take over the controls? I can... No, thank you, number four. I got this. I'm here if you need me. We're almost there. Just a little further down now. The gravity is reversing! Miss Aurora, now would be a good time to... Hold on, everyone! <laughs> Dexter! Come on, Dexter! Wake up! Please wake up, Dexter! Uh, uh, Aurora? What happened? Number four saved us. From... From what? I heard that moon whale. Did the moon whale attack us? No. Actually, he saved us from... me. You? But you're not a moon whale. No, I'm not. But I am completely inexperienced piloting a submarine in the moon's ocean. You see, when the gravity reversed, I had no idea what to do. Fortunately, number four took over the controls and got us safely through the worst of it. I should have let him pilot the submarine desde el principio. But what happened to me? Oh, <laughs> you passed out. It was actually pretty funny. And everyone else? They went ahead. Went ahead? Where? I don't know. Come on, let's go catch up. Dexter, you gotta see this! Possible. A logical question. My master has many theories, but we are still uncertain as to the origin of the hollow moon. You keep mentioning your master. Who is he? He? No, Dexter. She. Take a look for yourself. Hmm. 
Who's that woman talking to Uncle Jetto? She looks kind of familiar. It would be better to ask her yourself. Okay, Aurora, you coming? I think you should go down alone. You're not going to come with me? I'll catch up with you. You go ahead. She looks awfully familiar. Well, here we go. Hey, Uncle Jetto, who, who are you talking to? Mom? Dexter, my son. You found your way. I thought you were gone. I'm so sorry, Dexter. In many ways, I have been. What do you mean? Even before my people came to destroy life on Earth, I knew what was to come. How could you have known? If you knew they were going to destroy Earth, why didn't you stop them? Mom, this is my, my friend, Aurora. Oh yes, I know Aurora. I've seen all this before. What do you mean, you've seen this before? Does this have something to do with those weird dioramas? Venturia, I think it's time you show them. Yes, my old friend. I think it is. Pursuit of robot number four and companions. A long time ago, before Dexter's father and Jeddo first visited Vries, I was chosen by my people to work on a special project. You see, the Vriesian people place a high value on their own lives. And since space travel is inherently dangerous, Vriesians do not travel in space. In fact, when I left Vries with Bayard, I was the first of my people to do so. We have altered our genes to prolong our life. We live many centuries, and even at death, our consciousness is uploaded to a digital collective. However, if the body is destroyed, so the consciousness along with it. As the world's leading theoretical physicist, I was commissioned to develop a safe way to take Friesian life to other planets. How would you travel to another planet without building a spaceship? Teleportation. Exactly, Danny. I quickly learned that in order to instantly travel from one point in space to another, you have to bend it. But space is not all that must bend. Time. You have to bend time. Yes, Aurora. Space and time are interwoven. All that exists is delicately balanced. When you interrupt one, you affect the other. I was beginning to realize this when Bayard and Jado landed on our planet, changing everything we knew about our solar system. We were no longer alone, and I decided to leave, taking my research with me. All the while, a Vrizian named Varen, the commander, grew fearful of humans. But why be afraid of us? Dad and Uncle Jeddo visited Vries in peace. He saw our history. The commander? He interfaced with our ship's historical records? Humans have a terrible history of war and destruction. Yeah, but not anymore. No importa. As far as he's concerned, we still have the capacity for it. Oh, so that's why they destroyed Earth. I was right. It was all just a big misunderstanding. I suppose you are correct, Danny. Most conflicts are the result of misconceptions. Regardless, my research progressed after I left Fries. As I learned more, bending space and time allowed me to see glimpses into the past and the future. I saw the destruction to come. We tried to prevent it, but it was too late. We knew it was going to happen, but not precisely when. My technology had not sufficiently advanced, and your father gave his life to protect you me and the possibility for a second chance. A second chance? For what? Prevention. To stop this all from happening. How are we going to do that? With this. Is that going to take us all back in time? No, Dexter. Not all of us. Just you and Aurora. Como? Wait, what? Why? Changing history is not to be taken lightly. Dexter, 
You are the only one who is of both Vries and Earth. You should be the one to make the decision. Why do I need to go? Every good adventurer needs a good partner. Dexter needs you, and you need him too. You make a good team. A good team, huh? Okay, I'm in. I'm in too. Tell us what we gotta do. First thing you must know is your point of origin, both location and time. Targets acquired. Sending coordinates, Commander. Coordinates sent. Mission accomplished. Perfect. One Vanguard's life for all of Freeze is a small price to pay. Awaiting further instructions. Self-destruct. We want to take them by surprise. Beginning self-destruct sequence. So... Venturia had a child with that human Bayard, and she thinks this boy can change the past with technology that is rightfully ours? She underestimates her own people. Dexter's Stardust. Prepare for invasion. launched an invasion. This is all so incredible. I can barely believe it. You better believe it, Errol. The future is a crazy place. Robots, space pirates, time travel, AI-controlled taco machines, you name it. But I've never heard of any of the papers discuss the discovery of our 10th planet. It probably hasn't been discovered yet. You see, Vries has a very long elliptical orbit. Even your most powerful telescopes these days wouldn't pick it up. Wow. So, your mom gave you this device? To travel in time. And somehow stop the Verizons from having ever destroyed Earth? You got it, Errol. What happened next? Did you, I mean, how did you? You mean, how did I end up here? Sitting in a diner? In California? In 1995? Yeah. That plan you outlined to go back and fix everything? Sharpen your pencil, Errol. You're not going to believe what happened next. Uh-oh. I think it's time I hide this. 